Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I have here is a proportion. And what I have is 2n minus 9 divided by 7 equals 3n minus, or 3 minus n divided by 4. And what I want to do is solve for n. So what I want to do is get rid of these fractions, right? Get rid of the 7 and the 4 um, on the bottom. There's a couple of different ways. You can multiply um, by the LCD on both sides. And um, so actually, let's go and do that for this problem. You can apply the cross product, which a lot of students um, like to do as well. But let me kind of show you. If I want to get the 7 and the 4, I can determine the least common denominator of these two. Of 7 and 4 is going to be 28. So if I simply just multiply 28 times both sides, what you'll notice is oops, the 28 divided by 7, that just leaves us with 4 times this product. And 28 divided by 4 leaves us just with 7 times this product. If you would have applied the cross product anyways, notice it's 7 times 3 minus 4. And this one would have been 2n minus 4. So multiplying by the LCD produces the exact same result as applying the cross product. So therefore, I have 4 times 2n minus 9 equals 7 times 3 minus n. Now we need to apply our distributive property. So I'll use just a different color. Okay, So 4 times 2n is 8n. 4 times negative 9 is a negative 36 equals 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times negative n is negative 7n. Now I need to get the variables to the same side. So I like to get my variables when they're positive. So I'm going to add a 7n to both sides. Make sure I can only add it to combine like terms. So that becomes 15n minus 36 equals uh, positive 21. Now I got to get the n by itself. So I'll undo subtraction of 36 by adding a 36 to both sides, and therefore I have 15n equals 57. That doesn't look too much fun. All right, well, I guess that's what we'll do. So then we'll divide, um, yeah, 21, negative 36, OK. So then I'll divide by 15, divide by 15, and I have n equals, now 15 does not divide evenly into uh, 51. However, uh, 3 does. So 3 goes into 57 19 times, and it goes into 5 or 15 uh, 5 times. So I can say the, my final answer is 19 over 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that is how you uh, solve a proportion and reduce your answer. Thanks.